So one would probably be my guitar, because I just love playing music and an acoustic guitar is just the best way to um, pass the time. <laughs> and uh, hopefully get some uh, mermaid to be impressed, <laughs> but uh, don't tell my wife, Tracy. <laughs> And um, yeah, maybe I'd bring Tracy too, and then she'd keep the mermaids away. <laughs> and uh, I think, let's see, the third thing would probably be uh, our wiener dogs, uh, because they're a lot of fun and endless entertainment. I think the topic of Jesus and nonviolence is really important today because we live in a very violent world. We live in a, a polarized world. And so this is part of the way that we show that we are uh, people who are salt and light to the rest of the world. Like that we overcome evil, not with more evil and more violence, um, but we overcome evil with good because this is ultimately what Jesus did on the cross and through his resurrection. And, and he's practicing what he preaches. And this is the pattern of life that he invites his followers into. It shows the world something different. I hope that through this conversation that people can be uh, challenged uh, by uh, the teachings of Jesus because they are very radical and they're very strange and uh, yet it's the way that Jesus' kingdom uh, takes over the world and it's very different than the way that the kingdoms of this world operate and uh, this is what makes us different. This is what sets us apart and, and offers the world hope in something different.